paint bucket tool the use of paint bucket tool is when you have a specific color and you drop on the workspace it will let me change that it will change the color of that uh, selected workspace or it will change that into the selected color what it will do it will detect the same color of it and it will drop once once you drop a color on that and it will change that way you can also create uh, or select different color let's say yellow for this let's say we are creating another layer here click on this and I, and I will drop another color of orange and click OK and I will drop on that and it will change that color or the transparent uh, layer into orange I can also turn off this orange so so that the below layer will be visible and or I can turn it on again so paint the uh, bucket tool it feels uh, si similar colored contiguous areas with the uh, foreground color the foreground color is this one so whatever the foreground color you selected and you drop on the selected uh, area which has the same color it will change that let's say for this orange i want to change this into a different color of let's say red then click ok and i will drop on that and it will change the that uh, back that uh, color let's say for this uh, sample image i want to drop a color of of orange or let's say green I want to drop on the background it will only select that background of blue uh, of blue and it will change the selected foreground color as you can see there's some background here that not selected because this background is not pure blue the the area here is more darker and the other is more lighter that's why it selects that way and you, but you can adjust that the specific the the selection the specific of of selection through the tolerance so control z to return it back once you increase the tolerance let's say 50 or 50 and once you drop a color it will or increase specificity of the selection of the color and it will drop on that as you can see it also select on this way on this area so we'll try to reduce that Control z to revert it back let's say around 40 and drop a color as you can see it uh, didn't uh, select some parts here maybe 45 will do the effect but you can always uh, repeat the drop of color and it will do that the other way is you, you create a or you remove the this area by selecting this so it will not be included the use of lasso tool say for this and you once you have selection of the object that you don't want to be affected by the drop of color, you use the lasso tool and you press Control shift i to revert the selection and it will select the, the background, the color that you want to drop a color and use a paint bucket tool and you drop on that and it will, and it will not affect that unselected part. And press Ctrl D to deselect that. So you can do that way also. You can let's revert it back. Ctrl D to deselect. You can adjust the opacity. Let's say if I'm going to make it around 20 or 15 like this. And if I if I drop a color, it will drop a color of green, which is under 15 opacity only. And okay, that's under 15. If if you want to drop again. And it will change that also the other option here is contiguous contiguous let's say for this image it's a if I select on this let's return this to 100% contiguous if I check on contiguous 
it will only drop a color on the specific uh, color on the selected area the same color which is the purple here but there's also another purple here but it will not affect that so it will only select the area that is connected to it but once i uncheck the con contiguous when i drop a color on this and it will affect also the other the the same color within the workspace all layers if you have uh, multi layers and you want to affect that uh, the other layers so you have to check the all layers so let's revert it back anti-alias is when you drop a color it will create a, a smooth uh, edge of the of the color that's the anti-alias okay so let's say we drop a color here so, so it will do that way but usually the paint bucket tool will uh, affect most accurately on the solid colors like this so i'm going to select this as you can see it will specify more colors here but for a mixture of color like this picture it will be difficult to drop a color or we can't achieve the or create as a, a good uh, result but it looks good but it looks fine now so let's try on this image we drop on another color say hello and this one selects also but when i revert that and check on contiguous say i will drop a color also on the background which is blue so it will change the background can we select this also so you have to work that that way and see another color uh, let's choose red for this okay red so that's the basic use of paint bucket tool in photoshop so i hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching